my whole broadcast was broken up and I did this epic prayer with you guys and it got bungled. So we're going to do it again because it's too important not to have agreement in these things. So I, what I had said is Rush Limbaugh on the opening of his program, he had a special guest host and can you believe it that Rush, after being diagnosed with stage four cancer, got the flu over the weekend. And I was like, what is going on with this man? We have to pray for him. This is such a voice of truth and clarity in this hour. We have got to be praying for him. And then I heard this update from Jordan Peterson's daughter where he has been battling for his life for quite a while. Here's another voice, a man who's touched an entire generation of young men and he's also suffering. That is too much to be a coincidence. Then I know a lot of other men and women of God who have been going through physical issues right now. And I am saying to you that I really believe that this is some sort of spiritual attack. I believe in good and evil. And I believe that, you know, the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That's what the Bible tells us. So sickness is not of God. It's from the devil. It's sent from the devil. And that this is a targeted attack against voices of truth and clarity in the hour we're living in going into 2020 you better believe we need voices like rush and we need voices like jordan and many of the other men and women out there who are bold in speaking truth and so we cannot as christians do nothing we have got to come alongside these men and women some of them may not know jesus the same way that we know jesus they may not know god's character the way we know god's character and so we need to stand in a place of intercession which means to stand in the gap for somebody else so maybe that person doesn't know how to pray for themselves maybe they're not a christian well you and me we got to stand in the gap for these men and women and lift them up and pray for their supernatural and their divine healing because they're too important they're too important to lose in this hour and you better believe if the devil could do anything strategic he's going to take these they're like megaphones you know he's going to take these megaphones out that are reaching millions of people and so i prayed earlier we'll pray again but i want to tell you i mean rush is like He's almost, he's like family to me. I've listened to Rush since I've been in a car seat. Since I was six years old, I've been listening to him. I have vivid memories of going underneath power lines and the AM station fading out and my dad turning it up just to make out what was that thing Rush was trying to say? For two decades, I spent hours a week with Rush. And so this is a good man. This is a man who is not just, he doesn't just provide clarity. The really special thing Rush does is he remains buoyant. He remains joyful and happy. And there are not a lot of conservative talk show hosts that do that these days. A lot of them, like, I don't know why it's trending right now. We need more Rush style people, but it's like yell at you or, or, you know, it's like, it's just, or, or they yell at other people. And like, I'm just, I'm not into that all of the time. I could tolerate it for a while, but Rush makes you laugh and like Rush makes you feel like, man, all right, we got it. Everything's going to be okay. You just got to, you know, listen to that little Rush a little bit, get your daily dose. And you're like, all right, it's not that bad. He's gotten us through so much and now we've got to get him through this. And so we have to pray for him, pray for his healing, pray that, um, you know, I, the other thing that I wanted to say on this that is that I really believe on the other side of this, once they get through it, once these men and women of God get through just this warfare, it's a different type of warfare. It's like a lot of them are used to people not liking them or things being taken out of context or people lying about them. That all you're used to. That's a warfare that you can, you're like, it's expected. But when it's medical, it's really different and it really kind of makes you go internal and you don't feel focused and you don't feel like you really want to even talk to anybody or do anything. Last thing you want to do is get on a show and, you know, and, and, and talk. And a lot of times, I mean, you don't really, uh, some people, maybe it's comforting, but it's like, for me, I know the last three months, I'm like, I don't want to do anything, but just sit under the covers at home and get better. And so, so we got to pray for them. We got to come alongside of them because I believe on the other side of this for them is increased clarity on what's really going on and increased authority in what they're speaking into and purpose. You know, it's almost like being given a second chance. You're like, all right, I'm here and I'm here on a mission. And so I'm praying for that mission mindset to be released in them, greater authority in who they're able to reach two, three, four times the amount of people that they've already impacted. 
and greater clarity, that God would release deeper revelation, deeper clarity to them. And so we got to pray for him. We got to pray for all the other people on the front lines, you know, that are out there speaking truth boldly, lift them up in prayer. Um, and so, yeah, so I'll just pray. I'm, I prayed earlier. I'm going to pray again. And so we just, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we lift up Rush Limbaugh. We lift up Jordan Peterson. And God, we ask that you would heal their physical bodies, God, that you would that Lord, we rebuke sickness over their life. We cancel the assignment of the enemy and we speak strength, Lord, to their physical body. And we speak strength, God, to give them the, the courage and the boldness that they're going to need in order to remain as consistent, relevant voices going into this 2020 year and into this election. That God, that they would know that that this is their hour, this is their time to be alive. This is the next 20, 30 years is their time for convergence. Is their time to just multiply who they are and multiply men and women younger than them for the sake of legacy, for the sake of America. And so God, I just pray for them now that you would release healing in their bodies and Father, that you'd speak wisdom to their doctors, that their doctors would have knowledge and revelation and God that that they would be reminded of like oh what about this technique or oh I've seen this done let's try that that God you'd release that into their doctor's minds and wisdom and you would steady their hands and Lord you would be there in the midst of all of it that you would speak peace to Rush and to his wife and to his family and you'd speak to peace to Jordan Peterson and his family and that Jesus you would reveal yourself as a healing God that you would reveal yourself as the Savior to both of them in new and deep ways, God. We just pray and we just, especially Jordan Peterson, God, we really want to lift him up and God, reveal yourself to him. May he come into the kingdom. May he know Christ as King and as Lord of his life. And God, like what the enemy intends for evil, God, you would turn it around for good. You would take such a terrible situation and God can reveal the goodness of God and the love of God to Jordan, Father. And you would make Russia's relationship with you that much stronger and deeper and richer, God, through all of this. And so, Lord, we just thank you so much that you're a healing God. We thank you that there's power in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you for agreement. So, Lord, we just agree with one one another, God, Bible says that, uh, you know, when, when one prays, a thousand angels get put to flight. When two pray, 10,000 angels get put to flight. And so when all of us agree, think about the angels that are being released over their lives. So Lord, we just release those angels now and just all of the goodness and the love of God. So Lord, thank you. And guys, thank you for agreeing with me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.